quite a vibrant. You had bigger chains. You had the Dorothy Perkins. You had the Woolworths. You had um, the Burtons. Those type of chains um, that are no longer on the you high may, street. You may know that I'm, I'm a bit of a historian, and and actually seeing the what Paynton used to be like. And if you look at uh, you know, the early 20th century. Uh, and how the many, many thousands of people who actually used to come to Paynton, because it was seen as this healthy resort, uh, they were attracted by the architecture, they were attracted by the fun side of, of, um, of the town, um, and it was, a, it was known as a place to be made well, and it was a place to go for your few weeks, because it was a healthy, happy resort, and we've lost so much of that. Um, but even we now, had payday weekend for Nortel, when Nortel had payday weekend, most of the locals would be out on a Friday and Saturday night, socialising, um, spending money during the daytimes, and it was a very vibrant place to live. Since I've been here, I've seen so many other businesses close and not any other really businesses open apart from getting absolutely flooded with coffee shops in Paynton. Um, I totally believe if Paynton doesn't get the regeneration it needs, it will continue to go downhill and I doubt I will have a business you know, within the next couple of years if it continues the way that it does because you know, it should be booming, it should be really busy, even when the tourists are here, but it's not just myself. You know, I speak to other premises owners and everybody is in the same boat. Um, I believe if we did get the funding through, you know, for everything, it's gonna immediately encourage like-minded people like myself and more corporate businesses to come and invest in the town, which obviously has the marble effect on more football and everything. People need a reason to come in. There are some lovely local businesses who are really making an effort and really trying to, to, to do something different. But on the grand scheme of things, the high street isn't a, a sort of a destination high street. It's not somewhere people would choose to go above other places. You look at other towns in, in Devon, like uh, Thomas or some of the other ones, where their high streets are really interesting, inspiring. Mm -hmm. They've got different things there and reasons for people to, to make that journey. In, and it's just been it's just been quite sad really with so many shops closing and and um, you know some of the bigger brands going people go out of town they don't choose to come here in the same way that they did i think yeah. if torbay road were to be um pedestrianized completely and then we were to turn around to say markets more updated shop fronts i think we'd give the town a much more friendly appearance and would encourage young people to spend more time out and about and a variety of food places a variety of like even coffee shops, but on a different way. You don't want all the same, same coffee shop chain. You want different coffee shops with different things. I think a variety of different things for people to do um, and different spaces. And the way that we can use um, a regeneration project uh, to take a town that, in my, my opinion, and the opinions of, of other people, is, um, is unhealthy and, and doesn't present well-being as a, as a good life choice. I think we can use regeneration, bring all of our partners together and, and actually redirect the future of Paynton as a community. You know, I think it is, it is very important that government or local government are seen to be taking the lead and valuing their spaces and their local areas and how they then use their um, skills and influence to bring other investment um, that will make places more attractive, make places a better you know, a better place to live. It's for the pot, basically. So unless we get funding, unless something drastically happens, the people of Paynton will lose hope still. And I think there's been so many promises that have been let down. People have no reason to be positive. But hopefully, hopefully now we can get that.